In this episode, we are exploring an abandoned shopping center, which includes five stores that closed forever. The largest tenant was a family-owned grocery store that used to be an A&P supermarket. On the right side of the plaza was a bank, subway, liquor store, and a southern cuisine restaurant. Nearby residents were heartbroken about losing the only convenient grocery store in their community, as well as four other important businesses within their neighborhood. In 2018, the grocery store owner decided to permanently close due to the landlord refusing to replace the building's roof. Significant leaking had permanently damaged equipment, such as freezers, and also caused electrical issues. Within the same year, the four other stores also decided to leave the plaza because of these unresolved issues. Now let's explore what is left behind and see everything before it is all one day gone forever. What's up guys? So we made it inside the abandoned grocery store. Now already it's really eerie and creepy. It's super dark, super moldy, super creepy. So we're just gonna kinda like go around in zigzags and take a look at everything left behind. But as you can see from here, it's a pretty big supermarket. Yeah. And at this moment, we don't know why it closed. We will do research on as to why it closed. Um, yeah, so. I guess let's get going. My mic just almost clipped off my sweatshirt, so one second. I felt it falling. That's the last thing we need. This would have been where the milk, eggs, beer, dairy, cheese was, and juice would be down this aisle. Now this place is really, really decayed and gross. I'm scared. I mean there's like crazy amounts of rust and just like pieces of the ceiling all over the floor. It kind of looks apocalyptic. Yeah. If there would be a horror movie in a grocery store, it would be this one. All right, now I gotta walk around all this stuff without clanking way too much noise. All right, now what wow. we're walking up to here is their bakery, pizza, chicken, pre-made food section, I suppose. Now everything's smashed up in here. Like all of the, the glass display cases, even the windows outside and everything, that's all smashed and nobody's done anything about it, which is kind of weird, like nobody's boarded it up. Nobody's cared about it. They're just letting it like be like this. So it's kind of weird. This is so cool. I really like it. It like gives me Five Nights at Freddy vibes. I know there's no such thing as that in a grocery store, but like I could just see one of them coming more out. More so Fallout. Yeah, more like Fallout, the Super Duper Mart. Yeah. Just like we uh, we filmed that one video when they were filming the movie, we were able to catch a glimpse of an old, it was an old shop and shop yeah. or shop right. Shop, one of I those think it was two. shop right. They converted it into a super duper mart. They should have used this place. Yeah. All right, let's let's creep back here and see what's going on. Now be careful. Come in. There's wires. There's a bunch of stuff on the floor. No. I mean, there's paperwork already. There's those takeout plastic things. Some little signs. A lot of raid, uh, some pricing paperwork about like what, you know, how much everything costs. I'm assuming this is kind of like an employee's like thing. Wow. Is this a painted rock? It's Looks just like weird, it. right? Hmm. Now, I'm gonna have to cover this. 
just says the name, but like, you know, here's like Carolina Turkey Breasts. And it's saying dates from 2017. Now this could just be an old one that they threw in here. Mm, yeah, um, that's cool. But we'll find out the date. We'll try to find clues while we're here if we can't figure it out. There are probably morning. dates on everything in here. I can imagine. Because, like, I mean, there's a lot of, like, regulations and things like that with food preparation you got to have. Like, I'm curious about this thing. Like, home meal replacement equipment headquarters. This is about the lamps that they use. Cleaning this thing. Service for in poultry. Um, handling guidelines. Whoever wrote this, 3 2024 is an explorer. Clearly, yeah. people have gone here. So that definitely wasn't meant to be there. But uh, let's go a little this way. Do these have anything on it? They're just wet. You can tell, like, they're like just. It's 18, 2018. And then there's 17 again. All right, so that's some clues. I'm assuming this is like the rotisserie chicken thing that would have had yeah. the chickens spinning in it. It's disgusting. I don't know if it's because of the oil from the chicken or it's like just now, you know. Obviously, all these things can get disgusting with how bad it is in here. You got a big, big, big uh, sink, and it's coming apart from the wall. Um... I wonder if people are trying to scrap any, you know, like wires and things like that. Yeah, that was a lot of here. That was real. I don't know, that was really loud. Yeah, it was. You probably heard that on the mic, so you guys probably heard it. Here. It was a big, like, deep, like, boom, but like something like. Like something's in the ceiling, so it came from far. Yeah. But obviously there's no, like, upstairs. I don't hear any humans. It's probably just the settling of, like, liquid, like, on these, and they fall naturally, and even, like, the metal is rusting and falling down. I hope so. That was really loud. So it could be a multitude of things, but I guess we'll find out, you know? Now, we got a freezer, creepy freezer, which I'm not going to go inside. And a bunch more equipment, like bakery equipment. Like this kind of seems like it was like where they would slide those things in for the bakery, like cookies and baked goods and things like that. It's probably like one of those big uh, baker's aid. This is definitely where uh, they would bake their cupcakes and, and stuff. This is the way into the entire deli thing. It says bologna, pastrami, cooked salami, turkeys. Obviously, it all went in there. That's kind of self-explanatory. And all the trays are still there. And that's pretty much the gist of this place. Now, they got, like, these things over here. Let me see if I can get to it. Just watch it over there. In the middle, there's a hole on the floor. This part for the bakery. Catering. Place an order. Yeah, and it says party platter, order guide. So that's definitely, yeah, like you said, we're getting cakes and stuff for parties or even other types of catering items. I think it's a settling of I don't know, it's stuff really loud. Humans, like, I know some of you may not explore, but like, whenever we hear sounds in buildings, you gotta have the continuous footsteps. If there's not, it's usually an animal or something from the outside where you can't hear the footsteps. I'm thinking well, more so of the outside. Yeah, probably. But luckily, this place has no signs whatsoever on the entire thing. Not one do not enter, no trespassing, nothing. So anybody can come in here. Let's go this way. Oh, 
look at that. This whole like little section right here looks apocalyptic. You got like a Bud Light. Um, Coors Light. Yeah, Coors Light. Or no, is that? Oh, yeah, it is Coors Light. Beer fridge. Yeah. So I guess which aisle should we go in? How should we go about this? I mean, I guess the dollar zone. Wait, I guess 13. Let's see 13. There's a pot. I'll have to blur this out, but it's like a sale thing. And if you look, actually, I'm noticing now all the rest of the words are falling off and they're on the floor. Yeah. By the way, this thing on my hat, I'm sure a bunch of you recognize it. It's an Insta360 Go. Um, I'm getting rained on from above. And this thing is pretty much just there so that if we turn off our cameras for a second and something happens and we don't want to miss it, that we, you know, we have it. Well, unfortunately, it's weighing down my hat, but yeah. Here. it's pretty useful. We're going to flip-flop. We flop, flip-flop every once in a while because we're not sure if we can get to the other buildings, but there <laughs> is other buildings yeah. in the shopping center. The whole shopping center is abandoned. So we're going to keep flipping every 10 minutes or so. Yes, let's start down this aisle. Aisle 13 it says bread crumbs, bread, napkins, cups, plates, peanut butter, and jelly. Yeah. Now, obviously, I don't think there's going to be any food left. But there's more than enough to this place. If there was any, probably yeah. animals would there's have a, gone to it. And there's a price tag right here. Turkey stuffing would have been $2. Nice and cheap. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch on this side. We got a bunch of things for 89 cents. This thing, $2.69. It would have been cups, party cups, dirty count, paper bowls. It's pretty cool. This might be a blast from the past from when inflation wasn't yeah. creating crazy prices yep. in the grocery store like we have Let's today. Let's take a look at some more. These are containers and stuff for $3. You can't even get like a pack of plates for like $3 nowadays unless you go to Dollar Tree. Okay, it's pretty creepy. It's a bunch of decay mold. It's Getting wet. Yeah. Oh man, this is scary. Imagine exploring this at night. Well, it's dark, so I guess it's it's equal to exploring it at night. But wow, this is where the cold cuts would have been. Nice. Oh man, this is scary. I feel like we're in one of those like computer games. Left for Dead, that's what it reminds me <laughs> of. Who, tell me in the comments, guys, who remembers the original Left for Dead? Oh, those were the best. Best game ever. Yeah. Definitely could see that game being done. This is here. definitely a unique explore so far. I think we did one other supermarket, which was part of a plaza in the past. It almost seems like that's the vibrations from yeah, like the probably trucks from cars in the and Because well, like I heard a truck go by and then I heard that in the back. Yeah. So let's go down this aisle. The sign is falling apart, but I see this side say sponges and gloves. So probably like cleaning supplies. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> wow. No supermarket by us have a dollar zone. No. There's some stuff, remnants of things on the shelves. Sponges, the coupons. Everything is so moldy. Maybe these have an expiration date on it somewhere. Let me take a closer um, look. Yeah, I'll take a look. Um, 2018. Here, right here in the front, right above my fingers. So far, our best educated guest is 2018. I think we've seen that date on like three things, so I'm going for 2018. Wow. This is creepy. I don't know how many times I'm going to say it, but sure is. Wow. An old party bag right here. It's probably where party supplies would be. 
almost every tag is a dollar. So, well, it makes sense we're in a dollar zone, but yeah, it doesn't say. Any, oh, okay. A bottle gift bag, a wine bag. Yeah, so party supplies would have been on this side. Wow. This is cool. And right here on this little shelf would have been, hmm, I, I don't know. Say it's patch dark. Oh, sewing stuff. Wow. And we're back in this area. So I guess let's continue going down aisles. We'll just, yeah, we'll go in and out yeah. and everything. And right here, looks like they would have had some sort of coffee. Maybe like a little coffee area. Right there, they would put like bakery goods. Okay, let's get on this aisle. Aisle 11. Wow. Now it's really bright over there because that's uh, yeah. where the front is. That's good though, look, we, we can see better. Yeah. <laughs> so this aisle uh, says cat food, cat litter, dog food, facial tissue and bath tissue. So over here, there's remnants of cat food, I guess? Dog treats. Oh. <laughs> Cool. 59 cents. Wow. Look. For like cat food. Now they're like about probably like a dollar something to two dollars. 45 cents. Probably the cheapest thing we've seen yet. They have more cat food. Wow. This tag would have been for tissue. I kind of want to do a photo shoot in here. Yeah. Like come back here and do some like apocalyptic looking photo shoot. Yeah. This place is creepy. Oh, my reflection scared the hell out of me. What's this? Show us this. Now, what is that? Dan, and probably like a little yogurt stand. That's cool. It does not work. I guess they were trying to get rid of everything at one point. I was probably selling certain stuff or giving it away for free. But this didn't go anywhere because it didn't work. Wow. Is that the freezer section starting? Yeah. Like the meat and the... Seems like it. Right here, this little section would have been more dollar stuff. I wonder if they put everything on sale, like the last days they are open. Wow. This is so creepy. It's so cool though. Oh, I almost slipped. This floor has a lot of slippery stuff on it. But yeah, this is the freezer section. Let's see if we can find a tag in here that will describe what would have been in here. Chicken breast. Okay, yeah. A bunch of chicken would have been in there. <laughs> here's an old sanitizer machine. Knocked over on the floor here. This, start here. this aisle seems like it'll be a little tricky to go down. Should we just go through that side? I would say so yeah. if it looks better to you. Yeah. I just we'll don't want to make a lot of noise, as she's mentioned. There's literally broken windows and like businesses all around this place. We don't want them thinking we're up to no good. That is a really good deal. Pick five for nineteen ninety nine. Five wow. frozen things for a twenty bucks. Wow, the good old like, days, right? You get like one or two now. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely get one. And not just the prices, but the quality of the food itself went to hell. You know, you're getting a little, a, a smaller amount of things for higher prices. It's crazy. Um, let's see some of these tags. Pizza, frozen pizza, fries. So it was probably just full of frozen food. Wow. Yeah, these prices are so cheap. This is insane. I can't re I can't even remember the last time I've seen prices this cheap. 
pre-COVID. Yeah. Okay, so there's a sign above that aisle that we skipped. That would have been ice cream. And novelties. And the aisle we're currently in is, say, it's like frozen dinners, vegetables, pizza, and entrees. We gotta be careful walking on this floor. Look, there's another drop right here. <laughs> it's like a foot or so. Wow. That thing still has like tissue in it, paper towels. Customer paper towels provided here. That's pretty high. Imagine being like short. I <laughs> wouldn't be able to Yeah, you wouldn't be able to reach that. Wow. A lot of vandalism, as you can see. I wonder what goes through their heads when coming in places like this just to destroy things. Like, what exactly is the point of that? What do you gain from that? I know I some know. people think it's fun, but it's, it's, it's yeah, it's worthless. And we're back in the front. Wow. This was probably like the customer service area, but. Yeah, hold on, it got really dark. Got dark? Yeah, hold on. It's probably because the window. Go. Let me it's go over window. here. Yeah, go here, to the side. Here, I'm with you. And yeah, you might have to stand like from here, like looking this way or. Unfortunately, even with a light, if you have a really bright light, it just cancels it out and it doesn't even do yeah. anything. You can see all these aisles. We'll get to that in a second, but one of them's like thrown over for wire. Wow. But you can see what we're talking about now. There's like two boards over there, but. Those windows them. are like wide open when most of them are. Yeah. I don't even know how that would have been possible breaking out huge windows like that. Yeah, that... A pretty busy road right here. Probably at night. Yeah. Oh, this is really cool. This is kind of like, well, like the customer service area. Yeah. Where you would have got like the lottery and cigarettes. You can see. We're going to go back there in a second. That's funny. Laying closed. Like, yeah, it is closed. <laughs> closed forever. Closed forever. But this is the fast lane. Wow. It's disgusting. You can see like, like the black and purple and black mold starting and so much wetness. You can hear it dripping on other metal things over there. Look how old that computer screen is, that IBM screen. That is old. $5 minimum purchase debit or EBT cash. Now you can see back there too that that's their office room. So. We gotta check out both. Let's try to fit in here first. It's gonna be a little tight, but I wanna take a look at these cigarette sale things. What is this? Okay. All right. 
Are you able to squeeze in? Yeah, I'm right here. It's good here. Oh, you can see like the little things saying Merritt and Marlboro and Marlboro again. L and M's, Newports. But they're all gone, obviously. Now, this is disgusting. Wow, some old cans. The phone is off the thing over here. I'm not going to touch it because it's gross. We're going to have to blur out these things because it shows like an area close by. But I'm assuming these things over here are like where the lottery things yeah. are, right? Because that thing in the middle, it like goes around, right? Yeah. And then comes out. Yep. Here's a Newport sign and the scanny thing. That's so cool. The computer part, I guess, is gone. That would have been on top of it. But the registers are open. Somebody opened them and left them there like that. Probably looking for money. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> like, oh, maybe there's money left behind in here. Um, now, we can either go back out the way we came or kind of skirt into here. What do you think? Well, what's in there? This is the back rooms of, like, the office. Yeah, we could try if we can fit. No. Here is a massive safe and a paper talking about mental health and addiction services, tobacco prevention and enforcement program. Wow. So I guess I don't really know why it's on the safe. That thing, it's definitely open, but it's, oh it's big. Let me go Jeez. around. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty tight back like room. What is that? Why didn't we get a sound? I hope that's not like an alarm or something like from trying to open the safe. Well, here we go. Goodbye. It's still making sounds. I have no idea what that is. I thought that was a door. It's, it is a door. I just don't know why. Maybe you guys know why. Now this is an office area. We got a ton of coupon wow. flyers. This is like shoved back here. Yeah, it's really small. They really had to like really squeeze back here. Is that an apron? Hold up. Right here, or is that a bag? I think it's an apron. Pick it up. Um, here, I'll pick it up. Sorry, guys. I've like, I'm broken in my back. And I can't bend fast. Maybe it's a plain green apron? Yeah, just mm. a plain one. It probably just had their name yeah. tag like, attached to it, and that was it. They didn't want to spend money on embroidering it. Now, I want to see this rice. 2017 again. Wow. So I'm going to assume. Oh, it's, yeah. It was 2018. It's got to be. And this way just goes to electrical things, so. I think let's... this way is like employee lockers. That's so weird. Why is it like this? What? There's like stairs here. An old sign, look for Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs. Four dollars. Yeah. You're just setting off all s sorts of sounds. What the, f the hell? No, and I like I literally I just went like this. Like I didn't push any button. You saw? I like, went like that. Was it the camera? Maybe. Not yeah, I think it was the camera. Is it, be, is it like no red thing anymore in here? It's still red. Hmm. Wow. Maybe it does that every certain I'm so, minute. I'm just so confused. I'm like, what, did I, what am I doing? How would things even have power in here? Like, They don't. It's just me forgetting about the camera. Now, obviously, this is their main like office area. And there's like stickers in here and stuff and a bunch of paperwork and nothing crazy. Another apron sitting there. That's it. So let's like somehow get out of this thing. Yeah. Over here was like lockers. lockers. And there's some, is that seats? 
No. In like a sweatshirt? The it's green like thing? a newspaper stand, I think. Oh. Okay. Walk back through this. Okay. Now let's head out. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, that's my tripod. Knock that thing over. So hard to get around in here. Wait, hold up. Let me take a glimpse of these lockers. Employees only. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. They're small. There's still like, somebody's jacket is still here. Okay. Ooh, the wind is just pouring in. Yeah. But, um, wow. We're going to avoid, like, walking directly in front of everything. We're just going to walk from this side and take a look so that we're hitting a little bit more. This is really cool and eerie. All these cash registers. Yeah. Look closer at that one. Probably over there was better. But this one was so tipped over its side, but you got all the buttons here. And the scanny you thing. Probably like pull it up. No? Mm -hmm. No, it's, yeah, it's knocked it over. It hangs I forgot. on. Yeah. And another really old phone, which I'm not really sure why they're that old. They just probably didn't want to like upgrade over time. Look, if the customer was born, that's yeah, old. Under 18, don't sell tobacco, 94. Wow. That is very old because I was born in 94. I'm usually, 29. They usually update those stickers too. So that's how old? That's like, like more than, it's like 11 years, something like that? Yeah, something like that. That's nuts. That's longer than 2017 and 18, that's for sure. You can see like these, the belts I would have like pulled your food is like disgustingly molded. And I guess these are all going to be the same thing. You can see the sh they pulled out the cash register yeah. things. Probably again looking for money left behind, but you probably just find a few quarters of anything. Pennies. Yeah. And these are the end cap thingies. Squeeze through. Let's continue on this way. Whatever wasn't here was in glass, which would have been like what? Uh, I don't know, probably like liquor. Mm, I can't. Mm. Neonite tablets? Oh, medicine? medicine. Aspirin. Yeah, it's a medicine. The whole thing, I guess. I guess you would have to just open it. And... Interesting. Cough, cold. Hair care, sanitary, soap, wipes, baby diapers, all that good stuff. You got another, oh my God, that's squishy. 
Wow. And just look at this can. It is crushed. <laughs> That's early. <laughs> I wonder why, I guess maybe when they were first um, closing, they attempted to like take everything down nicely. Like all of like those display like things are in here. Yeah. A random person definitely didn't put them in here. So I guess they assumed that this would have been, you know, changing, like somebody else would have. Now it's white. thing is annoying. Um, it's white now. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Um, yeah, so I guess they hoped that somebody else would buy the business, somebody else would go here, and that never happened because the rest of the stores in the whole shopping center closed down. Rollades. Pepto-Bismol coupons. This would have been toothpaste and toothbrushes, maybe? See, like, Oral-B down here. Glucosamine. Relax and sleep. Body hair and skin and nails. So, yeah. More beauty stuff. Fish oil. Daily multiple, probably multivitamin. A weight loss thing. Wow. Fish oil. Again, omega threes. Fish oil. I'm surprised. Those things are kind of just there. Yeah. All righty. So now we're at the back. And little before Debbie. Before we turn to the next aisle. Yeah, a little Debbie set up. All your good little Debbie cakes and things like that. Those are the best. Yeah. I know you like them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love the Entenmann's donuts. <laughs> All right, flip flop time. What aisle was that? That was eight. The baby white, yeah, the sanitary area. Yeah, I guess this would have been more meat because I see a pork sign there, a steak sign over there. Wow, they had a huge meat section. It was almost this whole back wall. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I guess let's go down. What I'm going to assume is aisle seven, if that's eight. So. Sounds about right. All right. This is so cool. Yeah. It's like a picture of a hot dog over there. Wow. This would be a great um, place to film a movie. Like a zombie movie or something. Okay, I guess this is where you would have found your spices. Extracts. Let's see what's here. Sugar. Sweetener. Probably like iced tea and stuff, like all the powder stuff. Goya. That's fine, there's still a dollar to this day. I always buy those. <laughs> Those crack um those cookie things. Um oh jello. This is where you would have found your jello for one nineteen. Pretty sure they're the same price. An old pie crust. Yeah. Ugh. Well, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wait, there's something up here. It's a Goya product. Oh, is that beans? Black I see beans. rice and beans. Wow. <laughs> What's a date? Um, Keep checking those dates. I don't see one. Oh, July 30th, 2018. Wow. I don't know, because like, okay, so things like this, their expiration date is like so far, like um, on for when you purchase it, so. I would assume probably early on in 2018 this place closed, or later on in 2017. But I'm going to go with early 2018. <laughs> Here's a, an old U-boat. This is what the employees would use to pull out the items and stuff. I hate those things. You These? can never make them go straight. Yeah. Like, they never, like... Come look at it, though. Look, look at, like, the wood on it. That's really old. Yeah, it's not even metal. Yeah. Alrighty. 
This is nasty stuff we're walking on here. It's a giant cobweb right here smacked in the middle. So let's walk around that thing. And we're back to the front. I thought I heard a voice. It could be outside, like yeah. the houses across the street. Because the yeah. windows are open. This would have been, I can't really tell. Oh, batteries, I think. Probably a battery section right here. There's an old jacket right here. It's probably like a homeless person, so I don't think it's has anything to do with this place, but here's more registers. You got all four, three, two, five. All right, this is, I mean, this aisle looks pretty empty. Well, they all do, but I guess let's walk through it for the sake of it. I can't really, okay, this is aisle six. This was the cereal aisle, juice, canned fruit, and powdered drinks. Okay, let's see if we can find any remnants of anything. There's a bunch of tags right here. Um, tropical, oh, Capri Sun. That's probably where they had all the Capri Sun boxes. Wow. Some more juice, apple juice. Let's see this side. This was the cereal side. You got Cocoa Crunch, Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheat, Bran Flakes, Cashy Go Lean Berry Crumble. I don't know what that is, but hey, what is you got? What are your guys' um favorite cereals? Drop them in the comments. Mine says, let me think, because I eat a lot of cereal. Fruity Pebbles. So yeah, Mine let us know. Mine is gonna be Total or Raisin Bran. I'm kind of like plain and weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let us know what's your favorite cereal in the comments. But, okay, let's see this tag right here. Applesauce for $2.49. And this corner was mm, syrup. Wow. Back then when they were selling and your mama syrup. And I got rid of it, but we're back in this section. The butcher area? Yeah, so. Thank God I bought these shoes just for exploring, because this place is disgusting. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> this might be weird. The butcher area kind of creeps me out. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. I think of like like those horror movies where like the butcher comes to kill you. Yeah. Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, this is, this are scary, man. The dots and stuff. Do you want to go back here, I guess? Yes. And we'll swap after. Okay. Okay, it's not that bad. Some advertisements. But this would lead directly to the back where the trucks would come in and drop off. 
product Ugh. that way where we came in from but we got some shake and bake here I'm going to assume if we find a date it's probably going to be oh this one's 2019 this this product itself probably lasts a little longer what's this one canes no Oh, this is disgusting. I know I shouldn't be touching this stuff. It's, it's oh, sharp cheddar. Oh, yeah. cheddar cheese. It's oh. okay. We wash our hands after. Oh, that's bad. There's a date on no. there right there. 2018. Okay. And as mentioned in other videos, we tend to do our research, you know, after. We want to explore this place the way we're exploring it now, knowing nothing about it. You know, we want to feel, we want you guys to feel as if you're exploring this place with us. So everything we see for the first time, obviously you would be, everything you see for the first time, we're seeing for the first time. Yeah. We're a little different from other YouTubers, but this would have been the packaging section, I guess, where they probably had a table here and they were packaged to meat. Oh yeah, the meat trays. Yeah. The styrofoam things. Your beef would be sitting in and stuff. <laughs> wow. You got some stickers here for steak. That's cool. Okay, this was their little work corner on the wall here. It says inventory, week, week after, fish. And so on. And like I said a few minutes ago, this is this is the back. This looks like one big fridge, freezer, probably where they'll have the meat. Oh, it stinks really bad. Yeah. If only you guys could smell this through the camera. Ugh. Yeah. It's nasty. There's some more package um things over there. What was that? I don't know. That was like coming from like over the there. train. <laughs> We're starting. Right, let's go continue to go down some aisles. Wait. Okay. Let's walk around this way. Can we? I turned around my hat because this thing keeps beeping and it's heavy and it's bothering me. There is a ton of these. Uh, Stickers, stickers like, labels. Like Chinese style barbecue rub. Beef for stewing. Isn't that a weird sound? <laughs> what is that? I do not know. Is it, is it another like, sound? Womp, womp, womp. It's like another, water, like <laughs> Yeah, but is it another sound? We didn't hear a few <laughs> seconds ago. The ghosts. Again, beef for stew and pot roast, pork chops, all that fun, gross, old stuff left behind. All right, so let's get out of this butcher room. I was wondering why these things looked weird. They're balloons. Oh, and they use them as like a decoration? Yeah. I was wondering why that hot dog was shaped like a burger. <laughs> huh. We're about halfway through the grocery store, so we got a little bit more to go, a few more aisles, and then we'll see if it connects to the other stores. Now, we have to decide, because we already have a lot of footage on this one, if this is all going to be one video, if we can get into the other ones, if they're separate, not sure yet. We're going to have to see how it goes, because this is the only accessible um, store 
from the back side. Obviously, you wouldn't want to go for your front side. So hopefully they do connect some way. I don't the think back, they are. But they probably don't. So yeah. yeah, we'll find out once we get to that point. You got your Pepsi display thing with all different probably two liters and Pepsi and all you know, good Pepsi products. Chips, Uts. Wow. I love Uts. You got Coca-Cola over there in the background right here. I feel like Uts is the only like chips that are kind of semi still affordable yeah. right now. And Wise. Yeah, Wise and Uts. I remember I would get like a bag of chips for a quarter, a juice for a quarter, yeah, a piece of candy for a quarter, and a cake for a quarter. I would get four <laughs> things for a dollar back then when I was younger. And that is not the same yeah. now. You can't even get a bag of chips for a dollar now. That's about five bucks. Yeah. For a, like the normal yep. size Lay's. I remember those big bags were like a dollar twenty-five max. Yeah, like look like. Um, a six pack of Sprite, it was only three bucks, three ninety nine, basically four dollars. So, oh, yeah, that, that was a good days, right? Yep. Oh, this is cool, yeah. And what sucks, like I said earlier, like a little yeah. Diet Coke display, cool. like a fake Coke yeah. bottle. The prices are going up and the quality of the product is going down, which makes no sense, but mm -hmm. well. They're taking less out of the bags and charging yep. more. Like I, we, ha we got one of those like multi-pack chip bags from um, I have a web connected to me, um, from Lay's. Lays. Yeah. yeah, it was Lays, and we opened the bag of like those sour cream and cheddar <laughs> ones. They're so fire, but we opened it up. There was like literally like four chips in the bottom. You're buying bags. It was not even half the size yeah. of the bag. You're buying bags of air. It's basic. It's just horrible. I'm like, what? Why do we even get this? Like, it's pointless. Again, more chips, 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 chips. The whole aisle is going to be chips. <laughs> Don't die. I almost died. Palette. <laughs> I think. Wise potato chips, two bucks. Always more affordable. And these are kind of cool. These are like these like General Mills display things. Wow. Look, combos. Who likes combos? I do. I do like combos. The cheese combos are yeah, really cool. good. Now we're stepping on the sign, but obviously you can, it's chips, nuts, beverages, chips. And now that we're on this side, is it, does it go dark? Can we point it this way? No, it's fine. Okay. Well, first of all, we got like a, some sort of monitor on the floor. It probably might have been one of those like you're on camera things when you walk yeah, in. Yeah, an advertisement. Because um, it's kind of too big for the registers and the registers don't really have a place for that. So it's probably one of those. Uh, oh, little Debbie we got, and we got Hostess cakes. Yummy. Yeah, Hostess, Little Debbie. Jack Lynx, Slim Jim's me. Smart Water. Yeah, these are, this is um, jerky and core water and core power powerade i love core water i think it's good powerade's really good too pretty good water but it's it's a shame all these are kind of sitting here like a convenience yeah. store like a 7-eleven could use this stuff but well they change it, their decals every so often oh yeah and they have to get rid of it right yeah Let's peek here real quick before we continue since we're over here. Because after that, we're going to be like toward that end. Oh, well, that section behind us. You guys are in for a surprise, but it looks so cool. Wow. I don't want to show okay, it yet. Let's, yeah. let's get through this. Oh, man. Can okay, mix and match. Thank you for shopping here, sign. The basket. You got Cape Cod potato chips. Aquafina, a.k.a. trash water. <laughs> Aquafina is horrible. Well, no offense. Some people may like that water. I'm big on like, you know, pH level and, you know, like real good spring water over filtered water. Like, I don't know. Uh, That's weird to find. Gospel. In a supermarket. Salvation things. God's wonderful plan of salvation. Security in Christ. Somebody probably put them here. Yeah. From the next aisle that we were going to get to. But, uh, yeah, we went through this, so... We are getting to that aisle. Yep. I'm so this is full. Ready? <laughs> there you go. Of cards and stuff. Look at this wise display. On the border chips are good. 
It's a good restaurant too. I haven't been in a while. We have one kind of by us, but they're not really that common out by us for some reason. Yeah, I'm no. slow. I didn't put two and two together with that on the border. That's what? the restaurant, the chips. Yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, guys. Wow. This is cool. Tons of cards left behind. Some of them are not even wet. Like these are gross. You can tell like these are like wet and, and molding and they got stuff all over them. You can well, tell like If you these. need a birthday card, you come here. Well, I mean, yeah, like when <laughs> then you go to this section, look and they're wow. fine. They're fine. They're literally fine. Look at this one. Probably a little damp. There's but... one. Not even, no, like I'm touching them guys and they're fine. They're not wow. even warped. They have like no like water on them. Even as you go down here, like Look, still in the plastic, so they're fine. That's cool. Hey, you can save a few bucks. Oh, look, a chameleon. Look at that one. <laughs> that is great. We have a lot of lizards at home. <laughs> I like that. But yeah, you get the gist of it. All these are pretty fine. Over there, they're not because the ceiling is gone in that location, particularly up there. And then it kind of, there's like a little bit here, but then it's, it's fine, the ceiling. So it's not affecting it. That's crazy. That's cool. Wonder why they left that behind. I mean, the food got eaten and stuff, but I guess they're like, yeah, we have no use for these cards. Wow. Well, alrighty. Flip flop. We yeah. just got to go through here and kind of loop around and you'll do that part. Yeah. There you go. It stinks. Just a water damage stuff. Alrighty. Okay, so this aisle would have been canned milk, gum, cookies, cocoa, <laughs> coffee, and tea. Okay. It's little aisles, smaller than the others. So let's read some tags, I guess. This would have been orange, tangerine, like tea, blueberry tea. Uh, yeah, tension tamer, tamer. Yeah. What kind of tea do you guys like? I like green tea. I don't like any. Well, I like iced tea. You iced like lemon tea, iced yeah, tea with a lot of sugar. <laughs> green tea. It's just a bunch of tea tags. Like two for five, you could have got yourself some cookies. Yeah, let us know your favorite snacks. You know, your go-to snacks. Everyone has their certain. You know. Certain um, snacks they like. So definitely let us know that in the comments. We've mentioned a few of ours. We want to know you guys' favorite snacks. Okay. I'm assuming this would have been more meat. Let's see, there's a tag over here. A label. I can't tell. I'm going to assume Sale. This. KM and casing? What the? Yeah. What is that? I do not know. Does anybody know what this is? Like that? I, I never heard of that before, but I don't eat meat, so. This says bone in ham steak. So more steaks. They sold a lot of steaks in this supermarket. This Coca Cola display is pretty cool. And here is a Lipton, Lipton tea display. I personally did not like this stuff. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And there's the back. I guess let's sneak through on in there. Let's not miss the produce section though. Well, we'll come back out here. Alrighty. Wow. Hostess sticker on the door. Smells back here. A lot of water on the floor, be careful. This is what he's talking about as far as water goes. Yeah. It's like... It's disgusting. You have to like balance on grates. Look at that, that would have been an old like ice cream display I think but it says the deli queen 
So, but it's ice cream, so I'm confused. It's all sorts of stuff, oh. shakes. Yeah. Cool. All right, I guess there's nothing much back here. There's a box full of old phones. This is probably stuff they were trying to save at one point. Obviously, it didn't happen. But yeah, bunch of phones back there. I mean, in there. All righty, a huge sink over there, and that's a freezer again. So I guess let's walk on back out. This is disgusting, man. Damn. Alrighty. Um, let's see what would have been shoved in this corner. Oh, organic stuff, I think. There's like ketchups. Yeah. Cool. More steak stuff. This is like the um, broths and stuff. It was in this side of the store. Yeah, cranberries, raisins. Probably like their produce um, section, right? We, yeah. we didn't see one over there. So this was definitely their produce section. Look at this package of paper towels. Pretty old. Um, another Coca-Cola display. There's a bunch of cards on the floor. There's so many, like, just everywhere. Wow, I don't think this is going to be easy to walk through. I guess we can try to go as far as we can, but over here says carrots, potatoes. Uh, this is hard. This is where all your salads and stuff would be. Squash, eggplant, broccoli, loose veggies. What are they like? <laughs> this is difficult. This is where your onions would be. Your onions would be 129. Jumbo white onions would be 149. Salad dressings, vinegar, and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, the wise thing again, look, garlic. Yeah. Sorry for the loud car. <laughs> but this was a pretty small produce section. And over here you can see the huge pictures of um, grapes, bananas and so on and the fresh produce sign so yeah this is the last of it this place was pretty cool unique and a fun explore Yeah, it's weird. 
Okay. Use to deposit boxes. Again, sorry, I jumped in and I couldn't really stop. These are all deposit boxes. That sound you're hearing is the blinds going crazy over there from the wind. But yeah, there's a uh, That's a little, yeah, definitely squattery. Anybody in here? There's like two more carriages yeah. in here. I really hope it's not so nice. Obviously, this don't belong here. It's an abandoned bank. As you may have heard in other videos of ours, things like this are signs of squatting. Like people, homeless people, staying inside these abandoned places. But this is the weirdest encounter we've ever had with like, things like this. Yeah. Like five baby carriages and the most random stuff. So. I just want to make sure we can hear each other, so I'm going to talk really loud because we yeah. put the mics away. So what happened, you guys didn't see. We were, I we got were a video taking there. pictures um, and some random nice guy uh, walked in taking pictures too. We were in the bakery finishing up our last shots and then a really, really bright light came from the back room and that was the other guy, else. I like turned around and he was just there. So there yeah. was no like He wasn't trying to, to hide or anything. Yeah. I don't like... Because I can't tell if it's another explorer or somebody else, so that's the problem with that. And it's dangerous um, besides that. Yeah. yeah, obviously there's signs of squatting and stuff. You never know if somebody's armed or, who knows, has bad intentions and stuff. So, like, we hopped out the front window, like, because he was coming from the back where he came in. So we yeah. hopped out the front window, and we're like, oh, we're outside. Like, let's, you know, take pictures of the front at least and go see if anything else is open and then we walk to the side and then that's now where we're at. There's a car driving right into here from where those little houses are. Now they're turning. There's another road there. Sure? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> what was I saying? So yeah, we, we turned around the corner and we saw that this is a bank um, and now we're in here but it's like really squattery and yeah. I don't like it like at all. Um, obviously there's not much to see so let's just like blow through it real quick yeah well, we're gonna add this it already is added to right, the, the end of the yeah. video um and we will add the outro part that we got from in the grocery store after because it won't make sense because we said we ended there but we didn't actually end there because we didn't know that this would happen um yeah i'm, I'm not even going to take a close look at all this yeah stuff i don't want to be invading people's stuff either stuff. you got the desks they would have talked about finances with you yeah I hope y'all can hear me. I'm sorry we turned off the mics, put in the bag. We did not think that this would happen. So, I'm trying to talk loud. I'll put captions if it doesn't work out. Again, more squattery stuff. Not a fan of that. Um, and your, you know, bank teller stations. So, I don't think there's probably. Yeah. Anything. Seems oh. good. Why? Oh, see, yeah, we gotta go. Just to see this. When you see this type of stuff, don't put your finger too close. No, I'm not. I'm just pointing at it. <laughs> when you see this type of stuff, it's definitely, look, that's to like squeeze their arm or whatever, right? They wrap that around their arm. Yeah. So that's dangerous. So we're gonna <laughs> take our pictures. Yeah. Look, just up this one room and yeah. then we're out. Yeah. Okay, so we actually just got into the abandoned subway. <laughs> so the door was just wide open. I'm surprised. I was looking in and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I wish we could get wow. in here. And I just like tuck on the door. Boom. So much stuff resembling Subway. Yeah, the classic like Subway wall with yeah. like the New York map. That's so cool. I'm going to talk loud so you guys can hear me. I don't know if we're going to need to get the light out or not. Because it gets kind of dark back here. So tell me if it starts getting choppy. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. I've never been to an abandoned subway. Right. Yeah, we're probably gonna need the light. Can I get it? 
Okay, hold on, guys. Here, I got mine. It's just it's gonna die soon now. Yeah, See. well, I mean, it shouldn't take long to do it, so. Okay, look at that old camera above you. <laughs> That's ancient. Right. Alrighty. Subway, eat fresh. Here's the soda machines. That's cool. All ripped apart. Okay, as I set them to metal on the floor. But obviously, you guys have seen this many times over. Subway is actually has the most locations in America out of any fast food place. You would think it would be McDonald's, but Subway actually wins that title. So I know everybody Minus one. should have seen what a Subway looks like. So yeah. this is your preparatory area where the cash register would have gone. And uh, some peppers and tomatoes. <laughs> That's cool. Let's just go by, back there real quick. There's a lot of paperwork. Yeah. Wow, they left the mic. These are good microwaves, or whatever you call them. Actually, I saw a whole thing about this company that does these things. And yeah, they're the first of their kind. They heat up things very differently. Yeah. They like heat up like the outside. They do. A, it has like a microwave so that the water molecules vibrate and the inside gets hot. But they also have a toaster type thing that happens so that the outside crisps so and it Look happens at that, that fast. The salt and stuff. <laughs> it's too funny. Ew. I think it's still in there. Yeah, pepper. Pepper. No cash register. I don't have that. Zootopia, what is those things? We got Subway Parmesan. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Um, some sort of garlic or something. Probably for kids to cut out. Yeah, but like, what year is this? What, what is it? 2016. That movie. Yeah, that movie's old now. Take one. Free food, yes please. My brochures. 2018. Seems okay. like this whole, yeah, like... Yeah, same year. Yeah, the whole shopping center went out that quick. We got like ranch in here. That's so cool, the Subway Parmesan. Yeah, I like that. All right, That's let's cool. check up. Gloves? The back. And this is what the back of a Subway would look like. Obviously, not exactly the same, but close enough, because this is not how it would look running. Oh, is that a birdie? Yeah, oh, sounds sweeping. like it. You got your industrial of sink. A lot of the random trash, again, remnants of Scott, um, I can't talk, squatters. squatters. And you even have like, look, sanitized disinfector and it's of Subway on the corner. So I guess this is like a branded like thing. Yeah. But obviously nothing's in here. I wonder, uh, is there, if anybody knows about fast food now, it says dish detergent and sanitizer. What is the sanitizer? Is that okay to put on like, Certain, obviously it has to be food grade, yeah, but probably. when I think of sanitizer, I don't think of something that you'd want to touch your, like, food stuff with, you know? And then, maybe this is in the office? Yeah, it, like, yeah. really fell apart. Wow. Uh. Electrical. Nothing interesting. Subways are usually small. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess we got the full gist of it. Sanitizer tests. Interesting. And obviously, these are like their fridges with all their, where all their food to go. Yep. And it's just gross. Nothing in it. Oh wow. Okay, I keep getting surprised. I just thought that the bank was gonna end. And then it didn't end, and then the subway was just open. So that's cool. We got that off our list. We've never seen an abandoned subway before. No. So now we did. So hope you guys enjoyed the surprise. Yeah. Let's go take some pictures now. Yeah. So we're actually realizing that all the doors are open. So 
This is going to be really fast. There's nothing in here. There's even painters to be as if they were like going to mix it up. But yeah, we just got like a really gross oil filled kitchen. It's really slippery. With pots and pans Ew. that are like disgusting. Look at all that. Isn't that surprising? It's disgusting. <laughs> wow. Even the frying pan. Like, look at that. Oh, look how cakey it is. It's like the oil mixing with water becoming disgusting. Yeah. Ew. Okay, let's try the next one. liquor store. Obviously there's nothing behind but the place still looks cool. <sighs> Got a cool beer brit I said beer bridge. Beer fridge. Right here. Ooh. Look at that machine. What would that have been oh, for? Not bad. It says it's weird. under 18 don't even try. Tobacco? Oh, it's a display. <laughs> oh, there's a whole Hey, you! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, you're right. Probably cigarettes in here or something? Yeah. Wow. Weird. A lot of stuff on the floor. Yeah. Wow. These fridges don't look bad. They're actually in decent condition. Minus the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, why is there a couch back there? Uh -huh. Kind of weird. It actually goes into the next business, but there's no, it's totally bare. Oh, okay. Nice couch. Just a, yeah, right? Shell <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can drink your beers here. The and back door. <laughs> I didn't realize it was open. Yeah, oh. It was all just <laughs> Open. That's crazy how this is all wide open like know, that. I, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, meh. No money. Just says Crown Royale. That's like the bag for oh, the for, for the liquor, I guess. <laughs> cool. I guess that was it. After yeah, right. this, right? Yeah. I think so. I think that concludes the whole uh, yeah. shopping center. Yeah. Wow. Not too bad. It got a lot in. I didn't think we'd get in all the other ones. Right. Well, awesome. Did you see a date on it? I got a date on something. Um, like on the, yeah. You see 2018 a lot. Yeah. And 17. Right. Yeah. Between like those two. Yeah. You're looking at all the food. 2018. Yeah, that's what I got. The little baby helmet. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, that's cute. I like it. All right, cool. Battery's gonna die, so that's perfect timing. <laughs> this is the end of it. So, wait, let me check this hat. Again, nothing relatable to the place. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, check out our other videos because they're just as good as this one. And check us out on our social media platforms on Facebook, Urbex Vibes, Instagram, Urbex Vibes, her Instagram, Oxidize93, my Instagram, RealZek, our TikToks, same usernames, and, yeah, that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're on Twitter now. Yeah, X, on Twitter. Sorry. Yeah, we just started using our Twitter slash X account. Same username. You'll see our profile picture and, you know, you know it's us. So make sure to check that out. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.